Today I'm gonna be testing two new battery boxes that I've seen hit the market and these were kind of common for 7.2 volt batteries for flashlights, bike lights, but now there's actually a 12 volt version. Uh, but to have 12 volt in a handy waterproof box like this is really really cool and this will fit both 18650 and 26650s and possibly even possibly even stuff in between like 21700s even though this one is smaller it has dual screws yeah it really looks identical to the 7.2 volt version ones but i'm seeing some kind of component in the bottom and what is this uh, those, those are wires and collecting plates connecting to over here uh, indicating that this one possibly even has a BMS something the 7.2 volt version don't overcharge over discharge over current and through birth protection so the problem with the 7.2 volt version it did have electronics in here but it didn't read the cell voltage on the bottom row so it had no real BMS so you so you should really take the cells out and charge them. This seems to be an improved version, which actually has a BMS. And I'm always a little scared when screwing this on that there's gonna be sparks. Yeah, and it has a built-in indicator and most likely on-off switch or just indicator. And it should have a DC-DC converter inside, converting it to 12.4, 12.6 12 constant at 12.28. And the voltage still on, this is just an indicator. That's good to know. So you have to have a light or a source that you can turn off or remove the wire. Uh, the first test, I'm gonna run Mr. Flashy over here. Mr. Flashy is our 50 watt LED light for electric scooters that are run on three separate power banks. Uh, it can actually run fine on one, uh, but for some reason I want to display our three-way splitter as well where you can use three additional super power banks to have both higher capacity, but also higher current. These ones are for about one amp each at 12 volts. But if you have three, you can actually run three amps. Oh, I hope it fits. No, it's the wrong size, but let's turn it on. No, yeah, these are really bulky and not the standard size. So I will use our three way splitter and turn it on. Yeah, works really great and let's also measure the voltage now that it has a load because that's the problem with many of these Chinese 12 volt they lose a lot of voltage 11.72 that's still pretty good that's almost 12 volts at probably max amps since this is a 15 watt LED it so it probably takes about one amp uh, but I'm gonna try it build with Betsy as well so here we have other type this kind of thicker dc connectors are made to work with like four or five amps so they're a little bigger usually that's not a problem unless you need to connect them to one of these locking dc pins this one is exactly one centimeter this one is 1.5 centimeters and you need a dc connector that is one centimeter and now i'm gonna turn it on there is the on switch and it's measuring 12.27 on this uh, watt meter and this one goes up to 1.6 amps here we were running at 0.1 amp and it's still 12 volts Now we're at 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 amps and now it's beginning to go under 12 volts so it's definitely not for high loads if you need 12 volt continuous it should really have less than 0 0.3 amps draw now we're up to about 0 0.5 amps and it's slightly below 12 volts yeah, you should really not run a motor from a battery pack like this I'm feeling if it gets hot I don't think the cells will get hot, get hot but the electronics will get hot if they're exceeding their capabilities 
and now we're up about 1 amp and the voltage is 11.5 to 11.6 so there's a little voltage drop uh, but still very acceptable some of the other 12 volt DC power packs I've seen they go down to like 7 or 8 volts at less than 1 amp and this light that run off of 12 volt lithium cells they should be able to work down to 9 volts I'm gonna crank it up to max Yeah, here we have max and at this current it's about 1.3 amps and it still has almost 11.5 volts I don't know if the cells are fully charged either It's still pretty good not the perfect 12 volt solution for high drain lamps or lights but definitely a good reliable 12 volt source with good water protection indicator and also USB function so you can use it as a power bank and it doesn't get hot either so I decided to test if this product actually has a BMS so I left two cells on 4 volt and one cell on 3.5 volt in here and now I notice that the light is kind of dim the indicator is not working so I'm gonna turn it off and check how low the voltage is on the low cell and it should be the one in the middle let's call him Malcolm this one was 3.5 volts when I entered it and now it's at 1.6 volt so this um, 18650 holder box does not have built-in BMS protection even though it says so on the box it's still a really good product if you want to be able to replace the cells in the battery pack and if you want water protection and if you use brand new cells that are the same voltage it should be no problem uh, just be careful and take them out every time when you charge them so I've taken apart this larger box since I didn't find it pretty useful with only three slots instead of six slots even though you could have bigger cells there are a few lithium cells in this format so I'm gonna reveal if this one has a BMS or not and hopefully you can tell me if these actually can have BMS functions it has voltage going up from two parts in the bottom and it actually has um, in the bottom here BA negative battery minus and here it has 5.4 volts 4.2 volts 4.2 volts and 12.6 volt terminals and here are the four wires going out outputs voltage plus and minus dc plus and minus and here's a component i can't really tell what it is uh, 4r7 it just has two connection points from what i can see and then it has a, a lot of other small components but from what i can tell this is actually a, a low voltage bms low voltage low amp bms it's very hard to be 100% sure without actually discharging it and now I destroyed it so I might test it on the other device and if you can see any problems let me know but I think this is a really good product worth testing